Fellowship training essentially is additional training on top of a subspecialty in medicine. Uh, so for example, for me specifically, after um, four years of medical school, I went on and did a five-year general surgery residency program, and then a one-year fellowship training in breast surgical oncology at Columbia in New York City. So I wanted to learn more about um, breast cancer and the multimodality approach to taking care of breast patients. To be able to learn a little bit more about medical oncology, the different chemotherapeutic agents, the radiation oncology, its effects, its treatment, genetic testing, and its role in taking care of breast patients. It also allowed me to learn a little bit more about the social aspect of taking care of patients, understanding high-risk breast patients as well. Those are patients that are not necessarily diagnosed with breast cancer, but have a very high risk of developing breast cancer in their future. The additional thing uh, also that I was able to gain from training was obviously specific to surgery and being able to offer patients oncoplastic techniques from breast conservation and having an appealing cosmetic outcome and also being able to talk to them about mastectomy um, and reconstruction options with a, uh, combined with a plastic surgeon. In addition to that, um, fellowship training allowed me to be able to learn a specific uh, technique called nipple sparing mastectomy um, in which a woman is able to have the skin and her nipple conserved even though the breast tissue is entirely removed at surgery. And immediately a woman is able to have her reconstruction at the same time. Breast cancer is not one size fits all and actually that's one of the things that's really crucial um, to tell an individual when they're diagnosed with breast cancer is that they, we try to tailor their treatment to their individual person. And that's one of the benefits of having navigation because you're able to have another support system system that understands the medicine and understands the background but is also able to connect with the patient and help identify services that are appropriate for that particular individual.